Hey team, this is Evolve Strong with CJ and this is CJ. I hope you lose 10 pounds of five inches in 28 days. Listen up, I'm going to ask you guys, if you wouldn't mind, please. I do these as a community service and I do these with goodwill and I do these with all. It does really help me if you can please help um, subscribe as well as leave a great comment. I'd appreciate that. That's all I ask. All right, today in regards to this particular podcast, Approach fitness with grace. Let's talk about that. What is grace? And what is the meaning? And I'm not talking biblical meaning. I'm not talking what I'm talking about is doing it with courteousness, politeness, goodwill to yourself. Do it with grace. Just like you do anything, man. I'm going to tell you, being in business is being on the competitive floor in battle continuously. Being an entrepreneur, you are being judged. You are being ridiculed. You piss a lot of people off because the decisions you have to make are pretty rough. Surviving the threat of all these competitors and having to do different moves and all different kinds of things, right? So the way I approach business is I put my head down, I put my heart up, and I just go. And I do this, and a lot of times, especially when people are talking or I've made a decision or I've met, I've pissed off an employee, pissed off, you know, different people, I try not to even just say nothing. I accept full responsibility for the decisions that I have made, and I will have to live with those repercussions. And then I move forward because I've done it with the best of my ability and not in any way, shape, and form of trying to hurt someone or be, it's just, I got to survive the business. So I have to make those decisions. This is also true with you and your life and your fitness level. When you approach every situation with grace, approach it with being polite, being kind, but also with goodwill and knowing that sometimes you have to make some decisions that may not be beneficial to others, but they are good for you. Let's repeat that again. Sometimes you have to make decisions and you have to take actions that are not in the interests of others, but they are best for you. So ultimately, you are being graceful to you. You have grace for you. You have kindness for you. You are taking care of you. Does that make sense? So prime example, you live with someone who absolutely loves hot Cheetos or absolutely loves um, having uh, 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 pizzas. It's absolutely, you know, does wants donuts every day. But then, you, on the other hand, are on a weight loss journey. So you have to start making those decisions to be good to you, but you do it within grace. Don't be judgmental. Don't be like so um, uh, blaming anybody. You are in control of you. So what this means is, is be kind. Be kind to you. Be kind to those around you but make the decisions and be stern about it and do it with grace. Don't get angry. Don't get mad. Don't get anything. Just, just put your head down, heart up and go head down, heart up and go. I love that saying. I, I remember one time I, I, I did my first triathlon and it was the spring fling. It was a sprint triathlon. Um, and I was training my first client in the triathlon. And so I decided to do one in order to figure it out. And it was a reverse sprint. So what that means is you do the run at the beginning and the swim is at the end. And then the biking is in the middle, always in the middle. So um, always when you take off in a triathlon, there's always that front 5 10% that you're never going to ever catch. These guys are just like balls to the walls professionals, right? So there was a group of about 5 to 10 that I just, uh, I knew. But within the second group, the normal people group, I was in front. 
I was leading. I was leading by at least one minute in front, starting with the run itself. I was so freaking proud of myself. Then I got on the bike. I transitioned. I transitioned well. And yes, I did have my little one piece. <laughs> and um, so I transitioned and I got on the bike. And this is in Rio Rancho. So the spring spring is in Rio Rancho. So if you know about those heels all over the place, and if you've ever, ever been to the Com not convention center, the big uh, star center in Rio Rancho, where the like the, the big schools and the HP and all that group is up there. There's a big hill that you have to climb. And the first thing that they tell you, the first thing they tell you in a triathlon, even I coach my clients, if you are cycling, do not break your cadence. And what the cadence means is don't break your average speed. What happened is, and if you've ever been in a triathlon, on the back of the leg, you are your age is, is put on the back, and then your number is somewhere on your body. But the age is on your calf. So I'm all proud. I'm still a minute in front pretty much the whole time. And then this 60-year-old woman, okay? Think about me, proud male, leader in the front of this pack. Um, I'm, I'm leading the whole pack. So we're going up this big hill right by the Rio Rancho Event Center. And this 60-year-old woman passes me like, like I am in freaking butter. And she's just, you know, boom, right? CJ's ego gets in the way. No 60-year-old woman is going to beat me, right? Now, I'm not misogynistic whatsoever. I'm not anything. I'm competitive. But that really got me in the gut that a freaking... And, and and this was 10 years ago. So I was only like 37 and she's 60. And I'm like, God damn it. So guess what CJ does? Breaks his cadence. So I start pedaling to catch up with her. No shit in you. Within 30 seconds of breaking my cadence, cramp in both legs. I have to get off my damn bike, get on the floor and start rubbing my cramp. Five God darn minutes. I'm sitting there rubbing my god darn cramp and by that time the whole middle of the pack was right there cj got in the middle of the goddamn pack and had to come all the way back because my ego got in the way and i broke my cadence then we got to the swimming pool and i was cramping and then when you get to the swimming pool and there's hundreds of people kicking your head and and kicking your feet and they're like either everybody's on top of it you can't even swim it's, it's stupid. I, I don't even, anyways, I, I, I'm just bitching because my broke my canes. I'm just bitching at this time. So I get out. Ooh, by that time, you know, by my age group, I was like, you know, 10th or 11th or whatever. I was first in my age group. I was first in, you know, you know that, that group, in not the professionals, but I was way up there. But how I approached this situation, I didn't approach it with grace. I wasn't thankful for where I was. And I let my pride get in front of me. And then I broke my canes and I fucked up. But I wouldn't even say I fucked up. I was still way in the, in the front. But if you approach your fitness or you approach life that way and you allow your ego or you allow your anger or you allow your pride to get in the way, you're setting yourself up for failure, complete and utter failure. And, you know, a lot of people, I have a double-edged gift. A double-edged gift. Let me tell you, I believe in people wholeheartedly that I will, I will do anything for them, literally. That is a curse and that is my gift. Because I believe so strongly in people, I know that that belief in someone allows them to achieve or gives them the, the, the will, some more willpower to, to, to be able to achieve their goals. If you've ever had anybody believe in you, you know, like a teacher or a coach or someone, you know how powerful that is. But I also believe in people to where some people take advantage too. So I try not to allow that to affect me. And I know that just part of the course, that it's just going to happen. Sometimes I'm going to get burnt. Sometimes I'm not. And I forgive. I forgive like there is no tomorrow. Because of the lack of forgiveness in my life, I turned to a lot of drugs and alcohol at one time and it almost ruined my life. By the time you're able to forgive someone and just move forward, it's free. It takes the handcuffs off. So today's conversation was about grace and about how you approach life and you approach your fitness. Quit blaming everybody. Quit blaming you too. 
Don't take responsibility, but then it's done. Forgive yourself and move forward with grace. Cool? Does that make sense? I thought that was like a really cool aha moment today, especially with some of the circumstances that I've been under lately. And I thought that that was very relevant. So if you would like to leave a comment, I would love that. Again, subscribe, share this. I would really love for you guys to do that. For my out years, remember, start strong, stay strong, always be evolving up more strong. 505-591-4700. 505-591-4700. Text or call. Later, guys.